Hello everybody, welcome back. It's me, I'm here, with another episode. Um, check out this sick dive. Uh, and I just need to find a way to get in this middle. I actually figured out another thing pretty much as soon as I was done recording the one that you guys saw yesterday. Um, <laughs> I, this is a very funny story to me. This is a very silly story to me. Anyway, um, so for this musical, being in a lead role, this is a thing I've never done before. I, I'm gonna be honest, I never really knew what that entailed. And I, 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 I didn't know what to expect. As you know, with, with many, many musicals, a lot of them, there's always a romance plot, right? This musical had like two of them, two different ones. And it was really interesting, honestly. But one of them, I think, was really well fleshed out and, and well made. The other, I think, was a little rushed towards the end of it. Could have used a little bit more sculpting. But you know what? It was cute. Anyway, I was being one of the leads. <laughs> a part of one of those romance plots. And, um... You know how, how, how like, ye old musical story ends with, like, it ends with a kiss and everything's all, everybody's happy and, and that's great, right? Oh, they get married. My char I guess my character does end up, like, engaged. Uh, but, <laughs> being a, a part of the romance plot, there was indeed a kiss. And, um... I, I have never been kissed before. <laughs> I have never been been a part of that sort of interaction. So when it was uh when it came down to it, that's not just a thing you can you know wing it on stage. You can't really do that <laughs> for, for a stage kiss. So we had to practice it at a certain point. That never got less awkward for me, I don't think. But, uh... So my first kiss... <laughs> which I'll be able to tell this to anybody who ever asks me. My first kiss was in a dressing room. Uh, just me, the girl, and the director of the show. <laughs> and that was... And that was what happened. That was what happened. It was... It was weird. It was really weird. <laughs> I, I did not very much enjoy that. But you know what? It happened. Mm -hmm. I don't really count that. I don't really count it. It's not like... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not like a thing that I'm... I'm, I'm proud of it. <laughs> oh, sorry. So sorry. It's not like... Like, I'll tell that story in, like, the sense that it's funny. And not as, like, that's what I, what I actually will count as my first kiss. Because that's the lamest thing. <laughs> and it didn't help that, like... I can, I'm sure she was probably just, just, no, actually, I, I can't, I can't say I'm sure about that. I, I, I will say that, like, people have told me to think about it that she was just as nervous as I was. I do not think that was the case. I think, I, I was literally shaking. And, like, part of the, uh, of the, like, bit in that number is that my character, it gets a little, gets a little nervous. Uh, and like, and like, he's he's a big awkward dum dum who doesn't really understand things. So like, when it happens, he's like, I knew I was supposed to do that, but I I, I don't know, you know. Uh, I was quite literally quivering the entire time. Quite literally, I was quivering. So like, <laughs> when the director was like, "You did really good with the nervousness bit. Keep that." But like work on this, these parts. I'm like, that was not on purpose, sir. <laughs> oh my god. It was a... It was a... Um, very interesting. Shoot my bomb arrow at him. I was holding B like I could sprint in this game, like in Breath of the Wild. Like I said, I've been playing too much of that damn game. 
Oh, I, 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 is it right? oh yeah, I gotta crash through. Okay. I've been making that sound a lot. I do not know why. Do not ask me why. Wait, how do I? Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> like, how do I, how am I supposed to time that out that I fall through? Look at this. I'm, just, I'm silly. I'm so silly. Look how silly I am. I just lower myself in. Boom! Boss key. I still need a small key. And then there was like... So what, a, a, a big thing I've realized about like stage kisses is that it's... It's sort of a like who's more nervous game, you know what I mean? Like what, which one of us is more scared about this? Uh, and and my character had two kisses, <laughs> so that was great. After after the first one, it like wasn't so bad, right? But like, I still felt like a total nerd. The other one though, uh, I realized like, here's the thing, I uh, I can't be scared about something if someone else is scared about something. You know what I mean? Like, if there's someone that I care about, at least a, even, like, a little bit, and they're, like, and they express, like, any sort of nervousness, and I'm, like, sure that they are nervous, I will, I, I am able to do a anything in my power to, like, support them. No matter if I was nervous or not. Like, I'm, st like, I'm a nervous wreck 100% of the time. But if someone else is, is, like, even a little bit nervous, no more. I'm perfectly fine. St I'm perfectly fine after that. I just go into supporter mode. So thank God for that for the second one. She was like visibly a little nervous about it because she was the one who had to like initiate it Get out of my freaking face bats. Stop it Stop you stop that you stop that Yeah, like she was the one who had to like initiate it and like it was it's, it's like that scene was also kind of weird It's like a bar scene and like there's just a lot going on in it It was, it was, it was, it was better that I knew she was nervous. <laughs> because it made me able to not be nervous. And like, and that was easier than the other one. I, I still think that, that the, the show was really fun. First half of the show is really just like, I, <laughs> it's so like interestingly written. Because, like, certain scenes, like, needed to be longer, and certain scenes, like, didn't need to exist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's this one... Because, like, the, the plot line that happens all in the past, very, very fully fleshed out, everything that needs to happen happens, everything that needs to take time takes its proper time. It's, in my opinion, rather well written. But, there's this one scene towards the end of it, where my character comes back on for, you know, whatever, however many times I've been on. Uh, <laughs> and, like, I had no reason to, we had no reason to do that. There was no reason to do that. <laughs> it was just, a, it was just, it's like a little scene for levity to break up, like, the really hard stuff that's going on in the, in the timeline in the past. But, like, it had no reason to exist. It's, like, it's very abrupt, and it doesn't need to be there. I, I like... I, I think the show would have been a little bit better without it. And then, like, we reach the second act. And, uh... It's as if... It's, like... It's, like, the, the author was, like... Oh, I have to, like, bring all the plot lines together now. I have to, like, finish the show... <laughs> And he didn't know how to do that. And, like, he just just let it be. <laughs> he was like, okay, so... Um... No idea how to fix this. Got a lot of problems. No idea how to fix them. So, we're just gonna... We're just gonna finish it. And, like, ev like all of these... All of these, like, plot lines... Could have been resolved way better. Like, my character's... Romance plot line could have been way better fleshed out. 
It gets very rushed. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to swim a little bit. Going down. Look how big this boss arena is. I forgot how huge this arena was. Yeah, but like, like my character's storyline could have been better fleshed out. My whole thing is that like I mature over the course of the show. That's my whole shabizzle. What, what am I grabbing? There's nothing there. Anyway. Eyeball. And like the resolution of the of the like the old old time plot could have been better. It should have taken more time than it did. And that's my opinions on the show. But I still think the show was rather good. I had a good time, and I, I, I would always have a good time doing that. I think even, I'm even, like, I'm on like a month and a half out now, but like, I think I'd still remember all of it. I just attacked his eyeball. He's shooting at water bombs. Don't know what those are supposed to do to me. Am I meant to get one hit? Is that is that what was supposed to happen? What 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 am I supposed to do with these bombs? Where's his eye? Where's the eye? Give it to me. Ah! I see you, mother sucker. Oh dear! Oh dear! Give it. I'm serious, bro. There's just nothing. Nothing's supposed to happen except me whack the eyeball a couple times. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. And I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. Look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, you know another thing I want to talk about about this musical. There was a cast party, and, uh, I, I, like, had to go. I have huge, huge fear of missing out. Like, I don't want to, like, not go to something, and then, like, I know that, like, it could have been good. You know what I mean? Uh, not even that I know that it could have been good. I just know that, like, maybe some, like, internal part of me would have enjoyed it. Uh, and and I have to prove to myself that I would have hated it. You know what I mean? How am I supposed to get close? Oh, never mind. Figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it out. Come on. Come over here. His face is very near to me. Oh, he's trying to bite me? <laughs> Come over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Oh, my God. <laughs> imagine, imagine, a little tiny dude just just latching onto your back like that. You just gonna let that happen? You just gonna let him do that like that? I'm just holding the swim button. <laughs> Come over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But I went to the cast party. <laughs> And, like, I did not have fun, <laughs> I guess. I didn't have fun, though. <laughs> I can assure you that. I was not having a good time. I brought a book, because I knew that I, at some point, wouldn't be having a good time. And, like, I had to, like, bring something else to do for when I'm eventually, like, sitting in a corner by myself and, like, spiraling. And I did. And I, I guess I was all right. <laughs> I was alright when I had my book. I like kept trying to move around and like talk to people. And then I realized that like none of these guys are my friends. <laughs> so like what am I, what do I talk to these guys about? I'm just like messing around at this point. Oh, I just ding dong just rammed his head in the wall. Sucks out all the water. It's the boss music. The boss finished music, and you guys can hear it.
Yeah. Anyway, it was a cool show, and I had fun, and I, I guess I like the people. They're cool. Not my favorite people in the world, but you know, nice people. Yeah. Look at that. Completed dungeon. Now we get to fight Zant. You know what's great about all the Zelda games? The companions are I iconic. Always. There is there has never been a companion in a Zelda game that wasn't like a complete icon. It's like, yes, I know for sure that like I'm gonna know this guy. Okay, we can leave now. Please and thank you. Um Yeah. And I'll be ending the episode after I get outside. <laughs> Cause I gotta get outside. Hopefully there's no one who wants to talk to me. Save. You get you guys get to see the save screen. Look at that. I'm saving. I'm saving my game. Boy. Alright. Cool. This is cutscene. We don't need to do this. Oh, incoming Zant. Oh no. This is about to happen, isn't it? Yeah, this episode's not gonna end for a couple minutes. <laughs> oh lord. It's this part. This freaking guy trying to destroy the light, as always. Because he's a freaking moron. I hate this guy. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. No, you stop that. You don't be mean to my little buddy. Oh my god. Sorry if you guys can't read, I'm, I'm reading really fast. My god, the king of twilight. This, this, this is the, you know what, it's for like this kind of thing that this, that this is one of my favorite Zelda games. It's so, it's so like, they keep, they keep, they keep it hidden for a while, what's actually going on. And he slips the rock into my head, that's awesome. I have a rock in my skull. Rocks in my skull. Oh my god. This guy's like the the absolutely crazy and wild kind of evil. Wow, yo, why is it just just why is it spit in his mouth like that? He's got, like, shark lips. Oh, no. Just, you know, really shows her what it feels like to chew five gum. What the H, bro? And now I'm a, I'm a dog, like, for permanent skis now. Like, he's made me, he's just made me a dog and turned her into dead. And you guys get to hear my favorite piece of soundtrack, I think, ever.
This is... If I could play the piano, I would play this song all the time. Not playing yet, I don't think. Oh my god. And look! She's inverted. Yo, 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 yo. Go to the princess. She holds the key. And that'll be it for this episode. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh hope you all have a great day. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Sorry to leave you in suspense like that. But, bye-bye now.